And it's time for another magical map adventure with me, Glamorous. Today I'll be playing in the map Clueless by a Nincompoop25. And the texture pack will be Sphinx Pure BD Craft by Sphinx84. I will put a link to both of those in the description below. Hopefully I said the, the names right there. And since I did not go over it too well the last video that I did, the whole premise behind this series is that you submit a map that you want to be played. So submit a map, put it in your comments below. The most upvoted map will get played. Same thing goes for texture pack because I like variety. If there is a texture pack you'd like me to see me play, put that as in the comments as well. Whatever map gets them, or whatever map and texture pack get the most upvotes, I will play those. Please put both of them in the same comment if you'd like both of your things played. It'd make it way easier for me, so I don't have to search for the most upvoted for each. But uh, regardless, if I have to do that to please you guys, I will because I am awesome like that. But some simple rules to this map. Don't break blocks, don't place blocks, play in peaceful, and keep it daytime. Beds are everywhere. Now, <clears throat> real quick, I did play through this map before a little bit. Uh, I did some of the rooms, and I got stuck on one for about 20 minutes. So, there's that. And I figured that probably would be pretty boring for me to upload that. So, I'll, I would skip that and just, you know go about my merry way. Now I'll quite simply explain this to you because this is one of the ones I did. It's a color puzzle. It's a game of memory and you have to remember which way you went. If you go the wrong way then you'll be kind of pissed. This one didn't take me too long to do. But what you do have to do is if you don't have a good memory I have a pretty decent memory You'll want to write these down, like which way you went. It's a lot easier to write which way you went than it is to write uh, colors down. You'd be there writing a little while with colors. All right. So that one's that's quite simply that. And if you want to play through this map, I guess I'm kind of spoiling it for you right now. I'm not trying to, but oh, excuse my yawn. I just woke up about a half hour ago. Now these things, these pistons, push you over, so they kind of squish you. And then now you come out and you see, hey, that turned green. I finished that room. <coughs> excuse me. Oh boy. Alright, I think this is the room that I did. Yes. Now, you have to kind of pay attention to this room. It looks like nothing, right? It just shows you colored blocks, blah blah blah. Well, I didn't pay attention the first time, and I came out, and I went all willy nilly in the next room, and it took me 20 minutes. Keep a picture of this in your mind. Whenever you Whenever you play through this, if you play through this, all right. <coughs> Excuse me, because it comes in handy, right? Remember that that pattern. Here's the bigger version of it, right? So basically, you don't want to do what I just did, because if you screw up and you step on the wrong path, it turns red and it doesn't give you the clear of the room. So if you remember what the pattern is, you can kind of breeze right through it. Look, I'm trying to... There. <clears throat> See, like that. Breeze right through it, and then move on. And then bam! What actually took me 20 minutes to do before took me not even five minutes to show you. I say that would make for quite uh, quite a more interesting video than me derping around trying to figure out what buttons to press because I was an idiot and didn't actually 
take that hint that was given to me in the in the last room before that. <clears throat> and uh, because I have extra time, why don't I go ahead and do? You know, I'll go over here. Why don't I do one more room? Now I'm trying to keep these videos about 15 minutes long a piece. So, uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Apparently that's glass. Whoops. All right. What does this do? <clears throat> I'm trying to think if this is another like foreshadowing, like, hey, the next room is gonna screw you over. We're gonna find out. All right, we got different, different pieces of glass in different areas. I'm guessing. Man, I don't know what I'm guessing. I don't even know what the, what I'm thinking here. Shit. You can't break blocks, so... I think I just screwed that up. I, I don't understand... I don't understand what I have to do. So that moved gla the glass around, right? Yeah. But it didn't move the door. So that was this button at the end. I don't get what I have to do. It's the only button that does anything. Um, alright, so this doesn't turn into another 20 minute long video, I have an idea. I'm going to stop it here, and then I'll come back when I figure out what the hell I'm doing, and then I'll explain it to you guys. Alright, so, I think I figured it out. And, what pretty much happens is, if, alright, if my theory is correct, Every time I press the button, it changes that glowstone. It moves it around. Right? It moves it one one block. Now, if I press it again, it should go up to there. And where did it go? It just disappeared. What the All right, my theory is completely wrong. I got idea. Let's sleep first. Let's sleep first and then we'll come back and give it another go, shall we? Alright. So let's press the first button here again. Alright, now it's up top. Okay. So here's what's happening. You got a big, big square room, right? And excuse me one second, I gotta sneeze. Okay. A big long room, right? So you got five blocks that are visible, five blocks that are visible. You got a six block that's on the corner, I'm assuming. Every time you press the button, it moves it one block over and up and over. So I should have to press that button five more times, four more times to get it to the top of that thing. So if I press it four more times two, three, four. That was four. Oh, I guess it didn't register one push. But you got my idea. That's f that's to the top now. So if I press it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16 more times, it should go back to where it was. Or where it should be. So I'm gonna sit here and press this button for a little bit. And I'm just gonna go check back. Let's see where we're at here. Alright, so it's not visible, which tells me that they're in the corners now. Probably the right corner. Probably over here. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So I have to press that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more times to get that to line up. Eight more times for it to register. Which means you can't press it too fast. Let me just see where we're at. I think that was seven. Yeah. One more time. And there it is. Alright. That's in line. That's right where we need to be. Now, next is number two. We have to press I got a lot. This one right here. And I'm assuming that there's no sound for this one because I'm too far away. Yeah, I just heard it barely there. Did I? Alright, so it's going this way. So I should be able to press it just one more time. And it should line up. There it is. Alright. So that one. Press a couple times and see where it goes. Let's see if it ends up in the middle of the roof. It does. Alright, so I gotta press this a lot. I might as well do all three of them because I'm gonna have to. Okay. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, it looks like the last one's getting close. This one. One more on the last one. Alright. And then that one. That one, that one, that one, that one. Alright, let's see where we're at. Oh, door is almost open. Or is the door open? I think the door is almost open. So we just got... Open! Or is it open? Is it open? It is open. Well, I may have screwed it up because I broke that block, I don't know. But that's what you have to do, you have to get those all in line. It took me a little while to figure that out, but it seems that this guy likes to use glowstone as kind of like a path. Like saying, it's this way. At least I kind of gathered up from the last that last room I was in before that one. So. Um, jump. Alright. Where am I at? Okay there for a second. Alright, now this one should be green too. There it is. Alright. So that was a simple, quick playthrough of the map called Clueless by Anankapoop25. Thank you for submitting the map uh, to the forums. I actually looked it up. I found it myself. I needed a map to do. Unfortunately, nobody loves my last one, so nobody left me any comments as far as, oops, as far as what they wanted to see played so again guys please subscribe please favorite like thumbs up share all that stuff to this video get it out there to all your friends the more people that know about this the more awesome content we can keep bringing you guys because a lot of it depends on your feedback because Enoch right now is doing a series where he's asking the community for mod ideas he's gonna be putting mods on us on our server uh, and then playing through and explaining and play and seeing what you know what it'll be like. Very inconsiderate lawnmower outside. Um, and then the, I of course have this one with my texture packs and maps. So please uh, share this around, tell your friends, and uh, again, the more people that know about this, the better we can make the content for you. So let me know if you have any suggestions in the comments below besides the maps and all that stuff and I will stop talking and let you get back to your normal everyday life 
and I will see you guys later.